1. An instructor is preparing students for the HSRT by incorporating real-world clinical dilemmas. Which adult learning principle is being applied? A. Rote memorization. B. Content overload. C. Relevance through experiential context. D. Passive lecture-based instruction. 2. A health science educator wants to evaluate students' critical thinking after an HSRT prep session. Which method is most appropriate? A. Matching definitions with terms. B. Peer voting on discussion responses. C. Case-based problem solving with debrief. D. Time spelling test. 3. A new instructor is overwhelmed designing HSRT preparation curriculum. What initial step ensures effective curriculum development? A. Start with favorite academic articles. B. Build sessions around the five HSRT reasoning domains. C. Focus only on multiple choice strategies. D. Copy a past year's exam format. 4. During an HSRT prep class, a student says they don't see the point in abstract logic questions. What's the instructor's best response? A. Skip the section to save time. B. Explain how logical reasoning supports clinical judgments. C. Tell them to focus on memorization. D. Change the topic to avoid conflict. 5. Which of the following best supports evaluating HSRT readiness through formative assessment? A. Final certification exam. B. Mid-course case-based exercises with feedback. C. Satisfaction survey after the course. D. End-of-term GPA comparison. 6. A mentor is coaching a new educator on integrating critical thinking into HSRT prep. What is the most effective approach? A. Focus solely on test-taking strategies. B. Demonstrate how to scaffold reasoning using clinical examples. C. Encourage using only textbook definitions. D. Avoid complex content to reduce anxiety. 7. An instructor uses only slides and lectures for HSRT prep. Adult learners appear disengaged. What should the instructor do? A. Increase slide count to cover more material. B. Shift to active learning tasks like debate and group reasoning. C. Continue with the same format due to time pressure. D. Eliminate discussion to improve efficiency. 8. What is a key curriculum development goal when designing HSRT preparation for health science students? A. Emphasize memorization of test items. B. Avoid abstract thinking. C. Promote transferable cognitive reasoning skills. D. Focus on discipline-specific content only. 9. A student scores low in inference on a practice HSRT. What should the instructor do next? A. Remove inference from the curriculum. B. Recommend more reading assignments. C. Provide focused practice with scenarios involving incomplete information. D. Tell the student to ignore that section. 10. Which instructional approach is most aligned with adult learning theory in HSRT test preparation? A. Facilitating peer-led analysis of diagnostic scenarios. B. Requiring daily vocabulary tests. C. Giving long lectures without breaks. D. Teaching HSRT content through isolated grammar drills. 11. A health science program wants to improve HSRT scores among incoming students. Which action is best? 
A. Raise admission GPA criteria. B. Offer early orientation in reasoning domains with diagnostic assessments. C. Replace the HSRT with another test. D. Skip prep to reduce program time. 12. A student expresses frustration with the HSRT's timed format. What is the instructor's most supportive action? A. Ignore the concern to maintain pace. B. Offer only extra homework. C. Teach time management strategies with practice drills. D. Suggest skipping harder questions. 13. What characteristic defines high-quality mentoring in the context of HSRT instructional development? A. Telling men's what to teach. B. Modeling instructional reasoning strategies and encouraging reflection. C. Allowing men's to struggle without input. D. Providing vague encouragement. 14. Which of the following best measures progress in deductive reasoning development? A. Group attendance rates. B. Multiple choice vocabulary recall. C. Pattern based case logic analysis over time. D. Course evaluation comments. 15. When evaluating the effectiveness of an HSRT prep module, what data is most useful? A. Student opinion surveys only. B. Changes in pre and post assessment reasoning scores. C. Instructor feedback logs. D. Generic course satisfaction forms. 16. A program director must ensure HSRT prep aligns with accreditation standards. What is the most compliant step? A. Avoid documenting curriculum changes. B. Tie curriculum content to nationally validated reasoning competencies. C. Remove assessments to reduce student stress. D. Use only vendor-provided materials. 17. An instructor wants to improve learner engagement in inductive reasoning. Which method is most effective? A. Assigning more textbook chapters. B. Leading students through hypothesis generation exercises. C. Eliminating case scenarios. D. Focusing solely on test structure. 18. A mentee instructor plans to assess critical thinking by asking yes-no questions. What guidance should the mentor give? A. Use binary questions to save time. B. Replace with open-ended questions requiring justification. C. Avoid questioning altogether. D. Focus on memorized definitions. 19. A group of students preparing for the HSRT underperforms an analysis. What curriculum adjustment is best? A. Add memorization quizzes. B. Introduce comparison based clinical scenarios requiring differentiation. C. Repeat lecture slides. D. Skip analysis for easier areas. 20. An instructor preparing for an HSRT workshop wants to ensure adult learners are accountable. What strategy supports this? A. Allowing them to self-grade all work. B. Requiring reflective self-assessments linked to real decisions. C. Skipping feedback to maintain schedule. D. Focusing only on final scores. 21. Which communication technique best supports an HSRT test taker with performance anxiety? A. Avoid discussing anxiety to prevent embarrassment. B. Criticize time management to motivate improvement. C. Offer affirming feedback and encourage structured practice. 
D. Tell them others are managing fine. Tw Health Sciences Reasoning Test HSRT the Health Sciences Reasoning Test HSRT is a standardized, high-stakes assessment tool designed to measure critical thinking skills in students and professionals within health science and allied health fields. Developed by Insight Assessment, the HSRT evaluates key reasoning abilities such as analysis, inference, evaluation, induction, and deduction, skills vital for sound clinical judgment and effective decision-making. The test is frequently used in nursing, medical, pharmacy, and other healthcare education programs to assess cognitive readiness, guide curriculum development, and predict future clinical performance. Administered online or in person under timed conditions, typically 50 minutes, the HSRT provides detailed reports aligned with national benchmarks, supporting both admissions decisions and outcome evaluations in healthcare education. Here are the top five beneficial uses of the sample exam. 1. Clinical Decision-Making Readiness The HSRT helps determine whether students and healthcare professionals possess the critical thinking skills required for safe, effective clinical decision-making in high-stakes environments. 2. Admissions and Placement Educational institutions use HSRT results to make data-informed admissions and placement decisions, ensuring candidates are cognitively prepared for rigorous health science programs. 3. Curriculum Development and Evaluation Educators utilize HSRT outcomes to identify strengths and gaps in student reasoning, allowing for targeted curriculum adjustments that enhance cognitive outcomes. 4. Predictive Performance Benchmarking HSRT scores are strong indicators of future academic and clinical success, offering benchmarks for identifying at-risk students early in training. 5. Program Accreditation and Accountability Institutions use HSRT data to support accreditation efforts by demonstrating the development of core reasoning competencies required in healthcare.